Hi, you guys. This is Prophet Sophia Sabrina Acapo, and I am back again via the leading of the Holy Spirit with another prophetic word for you guys. And as with any prophetic word, you would absolutely want to go to the Lord in prayer, testing the Spirit to affirm and confirm that perhaps this prophetic word is for you. Holy Spirit, I invite you in to take full charge, to take full control, to take full access. I decrease as you increase. Allow me to bring forth your word with your glory, with your power, with your grace, with your mercy, telling your story so your name can be glorified for the winning of souls to the gospel of Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, that I do pray. Amen, 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 and amen. Tidy, you guys, of this prophetic word is you're about to see through the right lens. You are about to see through the right lens. You are about to see Holy Spirit is saying through a different lens. Let me jump off into this word, you guys. So, you guys, earlier today, the Holy Spirit began speaking and unctioning into my spirit. You are about to see through the right lens. And the Holy Spirit is constantly saying you're about to see through a different lens. Something that you have never even experienced before or could not have even fathomed before. You're about to see, I see two no, new open doors. You're about to see two new open doors in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That you're about to be awakened. The Lord is saying even your spiritual senses. That the Holy Spirit is further saying more than meets the eye. Not just natural, but supernatural. Supernatural flow is taking place. It's taking a full effect because you're up next, my chosen elect. First Corinthians 2 and 9. However, as it is written, what no eye has seen, what no ear has heard, and what no human mind has conceived the things God has prepared for those who love him. The Lord is saying, you haven't seen anything yet. This is just the preview. You're about to get the full-fledged version. The version, excuse me. The objects in the mirror are closer than they appear. Holy Spirit has said, not just peripheral or ocular vision, but vision along with provision. Habakkuk 2 and 3, for the revelation awaits an appointed time. It speaks of the end and will not prove false. Though it lingers, wait for it. It will certainly come and it will not delay. And I just heard the song. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. Life as you've seen it before. The Lord is saying no more, but you are about to see it from a spiritual experience, a spiritual standpoint. Holy Spirit is saying not just hindsight, but that third eye, that insight, along with that discernment. You are about to see the reflections and the effects of you through a new lens on a completely different plateau. This is about to be a new and improved and a new version of you. The lens is flipping in your favor. The Lord gave me an example of an optometrist stating that you are about to receive a new set of glasses. That you're about to surpass and bypass what it looks like from a natural standpoint along with experience. And I just heard the song, you're not a natural being, having a spiritual experience, but you're a spiritual being, having this natural experience. And I just heard the Holy Spirit say, you're acceptable in my sight. You're acceptable in my sight. Because he wants you to see yourself the way that he sees you and see yourself through the eyes and lenses that he see you with that vision and provision in the image and the likeness of how he created, promised, purpose, and predestined for you to be. 
knowing that you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people that have been called out of darkness and into his marvelous light. That's what the Lord wants you to see. He wants you to see your value. He wants you to see your worth. Proverbs 19 and 14. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Holy Spirit gave me the time of 111 and gave me Hebrews 11 and 1. Now, faith is the assurance, the title, the deed, the confirmation of the things hoped for, divinely guaranteed, and the evidence of things not seen. The conviction of their reality. Faith comprehends as fact what cannot be experienced by the natural senses. And the Holy Spirit says by the natural eye. Because most of the things is majority spiritual. So he wants you to see that thing supernaturally. He wants you to see that thing through that discernment. He wants you to see that thing through those senses. And not just look at things at face value and look at things on the surface. But he wants you to see that thing for what it is and see that thing for what it's worth. No more optical illusion or confusion, but vision along with provision. You're about to see through the right lens. That's said the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I just heard the objects in the mirror are closer than they appear. So... Your blessings are closer than you think. And I hear the Lord say at the blink of an eye. At the blink of an eye. You're about to get those blessings that are going to come and rewards and that, that are going to come in surprises. Don't be moved by what it looks like in the natural. We know that we serve a supernatural God that sits high and looks low. You're about to see through the right lens. You're about to see clearly now because the rain is gone. That's said the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. Don't forget to hit that noti bell where you guys can be notified each time I upload a video. Welcome, 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 welcome to all of my new subscribers, you guys. Welcome to the fam. I pray that this word has really gave you a revelation and an understanding that you were able to see that You don't have to look from a natural standpoint to see what the Lord is trying to expose to you because the Lord is already giving you that vision and that provision. The Lord is just wanting you to see yourself the way he sees you and walk in that creativity and walk in that vision and provision and walk in those talents and walk in every trait that he gave you because he wants you to know that he has cleared, he has leveled the mountain. He has cleared the way he has prepared the pathway. So he's wanting you to see and walk on that straight and narrow because he's wanting you to know that your now is happening. Don't look back in the dark, but look ahead. In the glass because these visions and provisions and these blessings are going to be ever lasting the lord is saying to your satisfaction so the lord is saying not with the op ocular and the peripheral vision but the vision and provision because you have a mission to fulfill and the lord is saying you're not going to have to worry about trying to climb up the hill but you're going to be climbing up the ladder because you're seeing things different. As I stated in the previous video, the veil has been lifted. The blinders have came off of your eyes. You're seeing the true reveal. No more hidden. But the glory of the Lord is being revealed. And all flesh can see it together. You're about to see through the glass. The right lens. A different lens. That said the spirit, your viewpoint. Your discernment is about to be on point. That said, the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take care. I love you guys. And we will most certainly talk on the next. God richly bless you. Bye-bye.